Hello, all performers. Hope this finds you well. As you can probably tell, I have been off from the podcast for quite some time, and I'm not going to make excuses about it, but this happened about a week and a half ago. I was at my son's football practice, and one of the other dads of a player came over to me. Todd, if you're listening to this, yes, this is a shout out to you. He comes over to me. I haven't seen him in a while because our, our kids have been playing different sports, but he comes over to me and the first thing he says to me is, you haven't updated your podcast in a while. <laughs> and it's like, come on, man. Seriously, I haven't seen you in a while. It's a beautiful night. I'm just trying to soak up a football practice here. Watch my son. And that's what you're going to say to me? But quite honestly, I always say a couple of things about the people that you should surround yourself with. First and foremost, they should love and support you unconditionally. But the other part of it is that they should tell you not just what you want to hear, but sometimes what you need to hear. And again, I'm not going to make any excuses about not updating the podcast recently. It just quite honestly wasn't a priority for me. My speaking schedule is really busy. Um, Obviously, I had a honeymoon thrown in there and some travel and whatnot. But I will make this commitment to you, partially because Todd told me not what I wanted to hear, but what I needed to hear, that every Monday from here on out until the end of the year, I will be releasing a new podcast episode. I will not be bringing on any guests. These will simply be snippets from some of the keynotes and some of the workshops that I've been delivering recently here in 2023, or it'll be a separate recording on some of the distinctions and some of the things I've been studying around leadership, around goal achievement, around peak performance, around sales, and just around overall personal and professional growth. So I hope you enjoy those. Between now and the end of the year, that will mean you will have 15 brand new different podcast episodes that you will be able to listen to. Again, they will be released every Monday. And as far as what you're going to get with this episode is, this is from a keynote that I did right here in Denver for PMI Mile High, where I'm talking about the aspect of realistic versus unrealistic goals. And I firmly believe that Not only is any goal realistic with an intelligent plan to accomplish it, I think that also whether it's you telling yourself this or you telling a son or a daughter or a team member or a friend or anybody else, telling someone to be realistic is telling them to be self-limiting. So you're going to hear me share a story about how I got on on a stage with PMI Mile High that has been graced by Damon John. You probably know him from Shark Tank. Aaron Ralston. You probably know him from the movie 128 Hours, played by James Franco. They've had some big-time people grace their keynote stages for the PMI Mile High Symposium Conference. And the fact that I was able to get on that stage as Scott Welly from small town Albany, Minnesota, um, that's not a shark on Shark Tank and that hasn't had a Hollywood movie written about me at one time would have probably been completely unrealistic. So I hope you enjoy this first episode of me talking about realistic versus unrealistic goals and keep out performing. Welcome to the Outperform Podcast. My name is Scott Welly. I'm an author, speaker, and the founder of Outperform the Norm, a global movement that helps people achieve peak performance in their personal and professional lives. I've spent my life working with top performers in business as well as athletics, and each week it's my aim and mission to bring you an inspiring person to share their personal stories and insights, or perhaps it'll be a personal message from me but with one very simple goal in mind, to help you outperform. Your time is precious, and I want to thank you for spending it with me here today. But just one small ask before we get started. If you find value from this podcast, the greatest way that you could possibly thank me would be to head on over to iTunes or whatever your favorite podcast platform happens to be and give it a five-star review. Also share it with somebody that you know that you would like to help outperform so we can all grow this movement together and strive to make the world a healthier, happier, higher performing place. Once again, thank you for being here. And without further ado, let's get started. So let me ask you a question. 
who determines whether a goal is realistic or unrealistic? Yeah, I see some of you going like this, right? Saw right there. You do, right? You determine whether a goal is realistic or unrealistic. And I guarantee as you sit here late on a Friday afternoon, you've accomplished, you've achieved many things in your personal, professional, athletic life or otherwise that probably at the time were completely unrealistic. And you know what? You went out, you did it anyway. You didn't really think about it, you just rolled up your sleeves, you just made it happen. And if you can indulge me, I'll give you an example from my own life. I remember this. It was 11 months ago. It was basically exactly 11 months ago. I still remember this. I was sitting on my couch. I still have a condo in Minnesota, even though I spend most of my time now uh, down in Lone Tree, Colorado, actually. I'm getting married in two weeks, by the way. So um, can I get a, yes, thank you. I mean, better late than never, right? Like, she still has two weeks to reconsider uh, what, what she's doing. But anyway, I st about 11 months ago, I still have a condo back in Minneapolis. And I remember I'm sitting on my couch and I'm on PMI Mile High's email newsletter list. And I remember getting an email saying, opening keynote speaker announced. And of course it was Patty, right? So I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll take a flyer on this. You know, I'm just gonna shoot Carol an email. So I sent her this email that's on the screen right now. And you don't need to read the whole thing, but it's just, hope this finds you well. I wanna be your closing keynote speaker. I just spoke for PMI Austin, hope all is well. Hope to hear back from you soon. Now, I don't know what you think about me as I stand up here right now, but I know some of the keynote speakers that they've had for this chapter. When I spoke last time for this chapter, right here at the convention center, I remember Dan Pink was up here doing the opening keynote. Yeah, I'm not him. <laughs> I'm really not. Damon John, uh, you're not gonna see me as a shark on Shark Tank anytime soon. Aaron Ralston, like James Franco's not gonna be playing me in a movie. So you could very easily look at me sending this email out to Carol and like, whatever, I'm just gonna give this a shot. Sent an email to her and God bless her heart, she got back to me and she's like, well, I love meeting you know, energetic speakers, let's set up a time to talk. And it's sort of like that part in Dumb and Dumber where I'm like, oh, so you're telling me there's a chance, you know, even if it's one in a million, right? And we had a couple of fantastic conversations after that and Lo and behold, I'm here and I'm speaking to you right now. And I've been fortunate to speak for, I think it's 34 different PMI chapters. Um, I've been speaking for about six or seven years. Yes, I actually was painfully shy growing up. That is all true and real. But I also know that like a lot of times we can get in our head so much when we're at the beginning kind of precipice of thinking about our goals and we check and we stop when we say, well, that's not realistic for me to do this or not realistic for me to go after that. And it would have been so easy for me on my couch in Minnesota after getting that email to not just send that email out to Carol and at least give it a shot. It would have been so easy for me to just say, I'm not Dan Pink, I didn't start FUBU and I'm not a shark. I don't have James Franco playing me in a movie. Like, and to not even take action on it. But I want you to remember that who determines whether a goal is realistic or unrealistic is you. And for most people, whether it's you, whether it's a team member, whether it's a son or daughter, or whether it's anybody else, telling them to be realistic is telling them to be self-limiting. Hello Outperformers, three more quick things before we sign off here today. First and foremost, thank you so much for listening to this episode. I understand how many different podcasts are out there and I do not take a single second of your time for granted because time is truly our most valuable asset. It is our most precious commodity and I appreciate you taking that time and you spending it with us here today. Second, if you found value in this podcast, maybe you've noticed, but podcasting has gotten quite popular as of late. 
And if you would like to help support the Outperforming Movement and the Outperform Podcast, one of the best ways that we can get it found is for you to give it a favorable review and rating on whatever your favorite podcasting platform happens to be. So head on over to iTunes, head on over to Google Play, and give it a favorable review. And while you do that, also share it with someone else that you know that is just like you, is driven by growth and wanting to be the best personally and professionally in every single thing that they do. Number three, if you want even more tools and tips and strategies to be able to be your best personally and professionally, head on over to scottwelly.com. That's S-C-O-T-T-W-E-L-L-E. There are loads of different resources for you on everything from goal setting and grit to resiliency and focus to confidence and motivation and routines and habits and everything that you can possibly imagine to help you be your absolute best every single day, personally and professionally. Once again, if you'd like to access those free resources, head on over to scottwelly.com, S-C-O-T-T-W-E-L-L-E. So as I sign off, thank you again for spending your time with me here today. Keep outperforming and as always, wish you the best of health, happiness, and high performance. Have a great day.